When I was young, we had a table that was used only for puzzles. So we would have a puzzle going at all times. And whenever we had some free time, we could go into the room with the table and start making the puzzle. But whenever we were close to the end, there was always just one piece missing. That is until my father walks in because he's been keeping this one piece separate since we started so that he can be the one that finishes all the time. Good afternoon. Well, recently I got a package from Canada and in that package there was a puzzle. But the puzzle was just in a bag, not in the puzzle box. And all I had to go on was this tiny little piece of paper. And also this is kind of faded, all the colors are faded, so <laughs> it was kind of tough. But I do enjoy making puzzles. So th this is a puzzle, but it's a, it's a jigsaw puzzle. Usually, like nowadays, we just call a jigsaw puzzle a puzzle, but there are many different kinds of puzzles. I've got a whole bunch. A puzzle is just something that uh, it's like a game, a, a toy, or a problem that requires mental energy to solve. A jigsaw puzzle is this kind, it has the, the little pieces. Oh, you might have heard like jigsaw teaching. It's, this, it's the same kind of idea where you have, uh, students have different parts of the jigsaw, different parts of the puzzle, different pieces of information, and they need to come together to finish the project or to solve whatever problems they have to solve. So uh, that's where like the jigsaw teaching comes from. But the term jigsaw, as as you might guess from the name saw, it's a type of saw. So a jigsaw is a saw that goes like up and down and in woodworking, you can use it to make interesting shapes uh, that you can't normally do. Like a, a normal saw just up and down, it's good for going in a line, but not for going around circles. So a jigsaw you can use to make different designs. However, jigsaw puzzles were never made by jigsaws. Hmm? So they started 250 years ago, 1750s. They were originally made by someone sawing the wood, but they used a fret saw, uh, which is similar to a coping saw. It has a, a blade and then the arm kind of goes around like this. So you can go, it's hard to make a straight line with them, but you can go into the middle of the puzzle. The first puzzles were actually used for education. The first puzzles, I forget the guy's name. He made a puzzle where he cut along the borders of the countries. So he, he had a piece of wood. He put the map on the wood and glued it down. And then he cut out all the countries based on their borders. I guess America still does this, where they have all the borders of their states. So it's a way of remembering where all the states go. So that's how the first one started, and it, it was on wood. In the early 20th century, jigsaw puzzles became a lot more popular, and the material started to change. They started to use like cardboard and this press board. So the, the first puzzles were much harder because you didn't have like these kind of interlocking pieces where they can fit together. It was just cut like along a tree or along the uh, skyline. So it was really hard to match up the pieces. And they also didn't have like box art. So you didn't really know what was in the puzzle. Like you didn't even have this tiny picture to go off of. But as things progressed uh, in the 1930s with the Great Depression, uh, a lot of people were looking for things to do and uh, puzzles became quite popular. They started putting puzzles as part of a promotion. If you buy this, we'll give you a puzzle. And eventually they, they started making these large presses. So you would have a board like this 
and a big hydraulic machine would come down and press all of these uh, designs into the uh, board. Uh, that, that has changed because those things were really expensive. Nowadays, it's mostly like this rolling pin, I guess. So as it rolls over, it makes the cuts. So yeah, that's a, that's a jigsaw puzzle, uh, but I wanted to share this before I destroy it. Okay, have a lovely day and I'll see you later. Bye.